everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through my color coding system. This is how I color code my entire life and how I use it inside of Notion as well as other places like Gmail. So let's just get started. So I wanna say that if you haven't watched my 13 pillars video, highly recommend watching that. I'm hoping to do more content on this because I find people find it really interesting. And that's how I color coordinate my life in terms of how I organize digital files by color. Now, if you haven't watched the video, I organize my life into 13 pillars and each pillar has its own color. Now, I didn't really have a really strict reason why I picked colors. And unfortunately with Notion, I had to repeat a few colors because they only have so many color options. So a few of them have the same color from multiple, but it's still helpful and I think it's still valuable. So I'm gonna show you guys inside of Notion how I do this as well as why it's important for me to have the color options and how it works in my Notion system. So make sure to subscribe for more Notion content, more productivity content. I've got tons of courses, templates, all the things down below that you need to know as well as the podcast and many other links. So anyways, let's just get to Notion and I'll show you guys my color coordination system. I wanted to talk specifically today about the 13 pillar systems and how I organize them using color. So let's just get into it. So the first category obviously is business. So there's four different pillars within business, business projects, client operations, content calendar, and sales and marketing. So for each of these, I have a different color. Unfortunately, I have to repeat some. So I put client and sales both being red. So yellow stands for business operations and business projects. These are things like offers that I have, the different things I'm working on day to day that are kind of in that business projects category. The next one is clients. So this is specifically my CRM and people that I'm working with. They are always in red. I think red is important because I picked red because that's when like, you know, it's like important when you get emails, I want my emails from my clients to be in red because they're important. So I put red for clients. So everything in my notion that has to do with clients is red. The next one is blue for content calendar. So if you have downloaded my content calendar template, you will see every single item in there is blue, except for two. One is offers and the other is my CRM because both of those go with the pillars for business projects and clients. So I have everything blue, everything content. The last category sales and marketing that's red. I will say of all of the pillars, I would say sales and marketing as my smallest one because I put most of that inside of content creation. All right, the next category is growth, and the three that I have are health and fitness, mental clarity, which is basically mental health, and then mind expansion learning. That's all the education that I'm getting. So for each of those, orange, I put health and fitness. I don't know why I just picked orange as the color, and so everything health and fitness is now orange. Blue, I put for mental clarity, because again, remember, there's only a limited number of colors, and I thought blue fit with that. And then the last one, silver, is mind expansion learning. So everything in that pillar is silver. All right, the last category is home. So I kind of picked one blue for each category because there's, I just, I don't know, I, I just think that color is great. Um, and some of them I just wanted to have specifically their own categories. And then I've got green for friends and relationships and for personal admin finance. Then I've got entertainment is black and then home and household is pink. So. That for me is how I organize everything by color in Notion. I'm gonna walk you through how this looks in certain things. For example, if I go to the mind expansion learning category, you will see that if you go to any of these subtask dropdowns, all of them are gonna be in that color. So for example, everything is blue, everything is red, everything is yellow. You know, see what I'm saying? So everything is orange, everything is green. Everything is purple. Everything is red here as well. So I have made it so that every category within the main pillars is also the same colors. So um, you can see that kind of over here. Sorry, this is probably a little awkward to view. So as I'm dropping down, you'll see I have all of these different ones that have that color. So this is current projects, future projects, I've got mental clarity, so this is all the stuff. Um, so I have set it up so that everything is color coordinated inside of Notion. So if I go into like client operations, for example, and I click on clients and vendors, and I click on my contacts, um, and this is in the example, like all of these could be, be red, right? So if I wanted to, I could add, um, I usually add like the icon of a face, um, 
actually it's the person. I usually do this one and then I'm gonna have it be red. So you see that I have made all of the people to be red. So I think that's very important for um, being able to organize quickly and see when it comes into my inbox, all right, what color is it? I think it's very important for your digital organization is to have a color coded system. Um, let me show you some more examples. You can see with my shopping list is everything is pink because pink is home. For my grocery shopping, everything is orange, right? For my business projects, everything is yellow because they're all projects. So just knowing that all of this stuff is specifically based off of what it is. So even down here, I have all my to-do lists. I have green, uh, blue, research tweets, write tweets, whatever it is. For silver, I've got read this book, take this online course. For this, I've got, you know, whatever it is. All of these things are based off of the original color and based off of the original pillar. So if it's stretching, then it's going to be orange. So for me, having all of those colors is very, very helpful for me to know, even within my to-do list, what category, what pillar they go into. Which of those 13 pillars am I able to utilize? So that's how I use it in Notion. So I have everything organized by, by color and um, it's very, very helpful for me. I wanna show you some examples of how I use this color code system in some other apps, like for example, Gmail. So I wanted to show you guys specifically how I do this in Gmail. This is the Gmail account just for my email newsletters. So I thought I'd use this as an example because none of this is private information. All of this is public newsletters that are being sent to me. So because I have cleared my inbox and I'm at inbox zero, hallelujah, uh, I'm going to show you guys my all mail. So I get a ton of emails every day. Like this is just today. Um, and again, these are all... Um, newsletter emails. So you can see here that I have them color coordinated based on the type of content it is. And you'll see over here on the left hand side, I have all of my labels sorted by color as well as by pillar. Now immediately I can figure out what things go into each category. For example, Dr. Mindy Pelt, she talks about fasting, health, that's obviously going to be health. So if you go under health and fitness, you will see I have Dr. Mindy Peltz right here. Um, I got to make sure that all of my labels are correct. I'm just going to label everything. So I have all of my health subscriptions that I subscribe to with my email list. Because remember, I set up a separate email just for my email newsletters because I get so many and it was just making my entire regular inbox overwhelmed. So I'm like, all right, all of my email newsletters go in this email been very, very helpful. So you can see here that I have a ton of just doctory type emails and they are all orange. For example, if I wanted to look at Ramit Sethi, he is a sales, you know, he talks about money. So I have a money one. So all of my money people are in this specific shade of green. Um, you know, if I have someone in mind expansion or this is more productivity, I have that in, you know, silver, you know, you can see what I'm saying. For example, Sunny Leonard Uzi, she's content creation. So I put her in the, uh, you know, this color. So you can see I have all of my content creation in that color blue. I have ADHD is one that is a mental clarity. So I have that in the dark blue. Does this make sense? So I've added filters so that every time they come into my inbox, and I can show you how to do that, um, it automatically adds that label, that tag, and it allows me to quickly know what color it is, which, which type of pillar it fits into, and then I have them all over here on the left-hand side. I have a whole video actually on this, so if you want to check that out below, I talk about how I organize my Gmail. But this has been so helpful, especially in the last several months when I started moving all of my email newsletters to this specific, because I like email newsletters. I, for some reason, like to have them um, and I subscribe to a ton, but I don't like them cluttering up my email list and, and my inbox. So this is a separate email just for newsletters and it's been very, very good on my mental health and keeps me organized. So that's how I organize my email with color coordination with my pillar system. Hope that was helpful. 
so that is how I color coordinate everything. I want to be clear that I do it this way. You do not have to, but I wanted to mention, I prefer to use notions icons because they allow you to have that color option. So if you go to the icon of anything, and now they have the new option to multiply, multiply and have multiple different icons be selected, um, which has been great. So if I type in business, if I type this in, you see that there are it looks like 10 different colors. Um, I probably should add brown to one of those because there's a lot of duplicates, but that's just how I've been working the last like year and a half, two years. Um, I just want to say that is how I do it inside of Notion. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other content you want to see more coming soon.